Guys, nothing was settled in Hinton. Each man put his title on the line and went to a third fall. Nothing was decided. Blood was spilled. Ribs were cracked. And egos were battered. Hey, Suji looking to shake a hand. Whoa! Well, that was a smart move, Suji. Damian Wayne is sending a message that can only end in a steel cage in Baileysville, West Virginia at Unleashed. And joining us at ringside appears to be your NWA Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the Canadian Lion, Lance Erickson. I've got to ask you a question here, Dean. You might know a little bit more about the, uh, the qualifications to come out here and wrestle a match. But is there a basic IQ match when you sign on the dotted line? Because Osuji McPeak must be the stupidest son of a gun I've ever seen if he thinks that Damian Wayne wants to shake his hand. Hey, He's not in his league. He hasn't earned his respect. Damian's old school. You earn his respect, he'll give it to you. And okay, we got you ice cold You want to look for that stairs. list of people he respects, though? Gosh, that's a short list, and you're going to be hard-pressed to find it. Whoa, we got a schoolboy. And he's going to pay for that. Oh, man, did he ever. Wow, did you hear that impact? Damian Wayne leveled him with a clothesline. Of course I heard that impact. Everyone in the building did. Look at that. He's signaling to the rib that he cracked and separated. Uh, wow, hard shot to the cheekbone. Now one to the forehead. I do not know how well Lance Erickson is going to take that gesture. Chops yeah. now. Lance is, Lance is hurt. Let's make no bones about it. Those ribs are hurt. But he's still got the fire in the eyes, and hurt or not, he's a dangerous guy. But his appearance seems to have taken Damian Wayne off his game. Suji landing a clothesline after a series of hard chops, clubbing axe handle across the back. He's going to shoot the champ across. Well, he's trying to make Whoa. the most, and it's, it's pretty much a done deal now. Blackout time, boy -o. Wow, blackout pile driver. And Look at him, unconcerned about getting the pinfall at this point. He knows it's over. Yeah, he knows he's got the pinfall at this point, and he knows that he's in the head of the Canadian Lion, Lance Didn't Erickson. take his eyes off of Lance for a second. And you hear the exchange there on the sixth. You hearing it, guys? Steel cage match at Unleashed. And Lance Erickson promising a receipt on the broken rib suffered at the hands of Damian Wayne the last time they did battle in that big two out of three fall slugfest. NWA Mountain State Wrestling is on the road to Unleashed, our huge internet pay-per-view. That's going to be coming to you from Baileysville, West Virginia on Friday, April the 6th. Huge main event, NWA Smoky Mountain Heavyweight Champion Jason the Gift Kincaid taking on NWA North American Heavyweight Champion The Temptation Sean Tempers. Cage match, you've got the Canadian Lion Lance Erickson going after Mr. Mid-Atlantic Damian Wayne's Dog Pound Championship. You got Chance Prophet in action against Eric Darkstorm. You've got the Cult of Charisma in tag team action against Drew Delight and Corey Hollis. That's some Ring of Honor coming right here to NWA Mountain State. And you've got the Army of Darkness taking on the team of the Lost Boy Nero and the man who brings the pain, War Machine. Bulldog, buddy love, I want my retribution and I'm going to have it. The man who welcomes the pain just got the best partner in West Virginia. The man who brings the pain. <laughs> Baileysville Unleashed. Bob Brown, Buddy Love, 800 pounds of nastiness. We're going to bring the nasty, and we're going to bring the pain. Your tag team champions, the Cult of Charisma, taking on Drew Delight and Corey Hollis. Zach, Dwayne Muncy, before you guys tell me to cut this, I gotta know something right now, and this is directed to my tag team partner right now. What the heck is this secret, man? You gotta tell me what's going on here, man. We're tag team champions, and you're telling Billy me- Billy Litt, didn't I tell you to follow my lead? Huh? Man, hey, look, man, we're shut a tag up, team. Shut up, shut up. Baileysville, West Virginia, April 6th. Billy Litt and Ricky Shane put these on the line against Corey Hollis and Drew Delight. Don't know much about you, but I can guarantee you're great athletes because you're coming here. Now, boys, whether collectively or singles, Billy Litt and I have been in the ring with the best that Mountain State has to offer. So what makes you think you're going to stand up to that list that we've come out on top of? Still don't change the fact about this secret. 
Come on, Ricky. Where's the secret? Okay. Man, tell me about the secret. Eric Darkstorm taking on NWA National Heavyweight Champion Chance Prophet. Chance, chance, chance. It looks like I finally get my chance at the national title. And I'm not going to come up short, you know. I'm no stranger to Chance Prophet. We've crossed paths many a time, Dean Bibb. And I'm sure this one's going to be a knockdown, drag out fight, just like, just like they always are. But this time it's going to be a little different, Chance. You better bring Jose Lothario with you because I'm coming to fight. Ooh, la la. Mr. Mid-Atlantic Damian Wayne, in a cage, your title on the line against the Canadian Lion, Lance Erickson. Well, Mr. Lance Erickson, just a little short while ago in Hinton, we collided, and there won't a thing settled, son. I think there's more smoke in the air than there was before I got here. But April 6th, Baileysville, the big eye pay-per-view. <laughs> We're better than the big dog of the NWA to be inside a steel cage. Lance Erickson, get your happy ass out of the IHOP and get back in the gym. Because, son, <laughs> you ain't taking this home. Jason the Gift King Cade, you are going against the Temptation. Sean Tempers for the North American title. Dino! Grappling fans! Sean Tempers! I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am the most hard-stopping, jaw-dropping, eye-popping, high-flying, death-defying, awe-inspiring champion in the world today. So, the temptation. I'm tempted to not only take his belt, but to take his dignity. And that is going to be at Unleashed in Baileysville Friday, April the 6th, Internet Pay-Per-View. If you can't be there, you can still catch it online, Cucumber and Company. Guys, NWA Mountain State, the flagship of the National Wrestling Alliance, this is the road to Unleashed. Well, he wants to gauge what Shane's capable of. Can you blame him for that? Shane has tag team experience, says the team of Gorgeous and Young. Guys, I'm telling you. He's no stranger to tag team competition as he locks up with the Reaper Matt Connard and takes the left arm, breaking it across the shoulder for impact and working it over. Don't worry about it, just wrestle. Holding on real well to wrist lock, but there's the agility of the Reaper Matt Connard, and he's in firm control of that arm bar, and look at the way he has that wrist lock held there. Absolutely, and every time that Matt Connard steps in the ring, he's trying to send a message to the modern day hero, Kevin. Douglas, your NWA World's Junior Heavyweight Champion. He carries the lineage of Nelson Royal and downtown Denny Brown into the modern day. And Matt Connard wants to be the next one. Matt Connard, I've got to tell you, he's a guy in this business I'm very proud of. I announced his first match here in Mountain State Wrestling. He came out the door, he was a rookie. And you know what he did? He went out against the main eventer and he gave him his all, dominated the majority of that match. And over the course of just a year, his game jumped from five all the way to 22 on a 10 point scale and he is only getting better. He is so young, he is so fresh, but his knowledge, his knowledge belies how long he has been in this business. Yes, 3BL now fighting his way out of a hammerlock. Good reversal now by the East Coast's largest athlete. Well, the East Coast's largest athlete, he's no slouch in this business either. He may be big, but he's also bad. And if there's one thing a big man this business needs to know how to do, it's how to use his style. No one does it better than Buddy Love. And a quick tag out to his partner. And Shane's got his hands full, but he's holding on to that arm of the Reaper, Matt Connard, for dear life. Look at that, Matt Connard. He used his own foot to break down the knee of Shane Storm, sat out, and reversed the hammerlock from a, from a supine position. I saw... 32 different rolls in the span of five seconds and Matt Connard was behind him out of nowhere. Matt Connard now dumped to the mat by a spinning drop toe hold now by sweet Shane Storm. And now in bad territory. Sweet Shane Storm. Sugar Shane Storm. Sugar now Connard. Sugar Shane Storm. Matt Connard tagging. What's sweet about him? Is that a tribute to the teeth decay I see in his mouth? Zach Vinson now putting. 3BL's not happy about his partner allowing himself to get caught in enemy territory as the supernatural Zach Vincent works him over. Storm now reversing the hammerlock. Zach firing back with a hard elbow. Oh, licked his thumb and gouged the eyes. I don't think that was a thumb. It looked more like an open palm to me, Dean. 
Well, he licked his thumb for a reason. Firing forearms. And we saw that last week, the hair mare. Effective. I'm going to call that the hair mare. He's Doesn't used that twice in a row. Doesn't cause a DQ. That sign definitely says, Buddy Love is Snooky's baby daddy. That's incredible. That's slander. And Buddy Love likes tangerines. Forearms now from a Supernatural Zach Vincent. And back in Storm up against the ropes. And he's going to whip him. Across. Here's your reversal. And a beautiful arm drag here. And he's got a hold of that one firm and good. Well, Buddy Love's got to be a little bit happier about the situation in the match now. But I don't think he's very happy about the fact that Shane's not bringing him over to the corner for a tag. Shane needs to make that quick. There it is. And that'll make Buddy Love a little bit happier, maybe a little more tolerant with his partner. Zach Vincent now at the mercy of the East Coast largest athlete. Whoa! Now Zach Vincent can go. Whoa, here we go! That's like getting thrown to a corner by a Mack truck only to get hit by it one more time. I'm serious now. Zach Vincent gets some hang time here out of the corner. And the East Coast largest athlete using his size to its full advantage there. If you don't believe me, ask Zach how his ribs feel. And a Reaper Matt Connor breaking up the count here. Saving his partner. And another and quick tag by Buddy Love to his partner. And it looks like they may finally be coming together on this matter. Shane Storm back in the supernatural, one up against the ropes, shoots him across. Whoa, we got a reversal of some type here. Well, a hook from behind on both arms. I, I, I've never seen anything like that before. What do you call that, Dean? Great maneuver. He, he hooked both arms and sat out, driving Shane Storm's the top of his spine. And now back in the corner. And I don't think Buddy Love likes that at all. Another quick tag here, and the look, Reaper comes in. Look at Zach standing on top of the abdomen, just holding him in place there. Well, you gotta admit, I guess it keeps him in, keeps him in tow, keeps him in place. The Reaper, Matt Connard now intimidating in his young years. Imagine him with 10 more years experience. Backbreaker now on Shane Storm, and over in Buddy Love's face. And Buddy Love just got Connard's attention, but look, Connard. That's the instinct, such a short time, but he's grown such a great deal. A lot of guys, they get slapped on the back by someone. They'll take their time, jack their jaw, and before they know it, something out of the corner of their eye has happened that they don't like. Now someone young with a message for a heavyweight champion of the world, as Matt Connard is, might have taken that opportunity to say, yeah, let me take this guy that's three times my size on. He says, no, you're not worth it. I'm gonna concentrate on beating this guy. Not worth it. He's Whoa, not he's standing on the hair. Oh, that looks fantastic. That's a beautiful submission maneuver. Great way to wear the guy down. What? Yeah, I was going to say, well, and now he's bringing Buddy Love into play. You looked at me like I said it was all right to punch a three-year-old. That's not right. This is a wrestling match. Those are grown men. Yeah, by standing way, on hair is not legal. Home, don't try to do this. It's stupid. And by the way, parents, keep an eye on your kids while they're watching this. It's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, let's face, let's face facts. In Mount Hope, West Virginia the other day, about three weeks ago, Buddy Love was involved in an altercation in Hinton, and then fans tried to get a hold of him. Whoa, Matt Connor working now. Muscled him all the way through that one to throw him down to the mat. Yeah, Shane oh, Storm. Hinton splash. Shane Storm did his best to escape that move. Well, he did his best. He fell a little bit short there, though. Did you hear Buddy Love? Buddy Love said, I'm not making the save for you, Shane Storm. Fight. Well, he's mad. He's used to Bob Brown. Bob Brown's a slugger all the way. Bob I'm not Brown. Even sure pain registers for that man. Bob Brown has some great looking t shirts now. Look at this. Look at the agility oh, of Supernatural. And he ends it all with a big kick to the side of the head with a world of momentum behind it. Sends him out. And a big boot. Good night. That's tag team. Maneuvering there. Wow, it was Shane Storm kicked out. Buddy Love was coming in to save his partner. Wow. And we got some beauty parlor technique here. Well, if Shane really likes sugar so much to make it his moniker, maybe he'll be happy when the doctor gives him a lollipop after he goes to visit him after this beating. Zach Vincent bringing him around and totally tying him up. 
I don't know what to call that. We're going to call that the pretzel submission maneuver, though. There's 48 different parts of a body wrapped around a man in a way I can't even think of. The last time I saw something like this, an octopus was killing a squid on the Discovery Channel. Our main event tonight, today on NWA Mountain State, the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Television title on the line. Dangerous Dave Scott defends against Billy Lip. We've also got more tag team action underway later on in this hour as well. Folks, stay tuned in WA Mountain State. We're so pleased that you decided to spend an hour with us. Thank you very much. And Zach Vincent in this match more than the last one we got a call last week, folks, displaying a great arsenal of his abilities to use those kicks in the ring. Absolutely. He has very educated feet. Pump handle scoop. Modified. Wow. Inverted backbreaker there. I guess that's a gut breaker, Dean? Is that gut, gut buster, breaker? absolutely. Gut buster. Pump handle gut buster. And that is old school. You want to talk about the youth of Matt Connard? Matt Connard is working out with some old school moves breaking bad. I don't even spare to, to talk about the youth anymore. He spent a year as a rookie, but in that year as a rookie, he found his way to where a lot of veterans never, ever see themselves. This second year, he's starting to think like a veteran. And traveling the country as well. Chase Storm hits the ropes, he ducks a clothesline. He ducks a backhand. And he lands a clothesline. Can he cover? Or can he tag? What you gonna do, Chase Storm? You gonna cover or are you gonna tag? You gotta look at your partner. There's it's a tag. Buddy Love in this one. Whoa. Massive clothesline. Clean in the ring. That's got like a hit by a two by four out the window of a truck. He says it's too easy. Here they come. Oh, they ducked the double clothesline. Double drop kick. And Buddy Love takes the second outside and it's Shane Storm at the mercy of this team. Creeping death neck breaker combination with a kick across the sternum on the way down. Hooks the leg to Zach. Matt tells the ref to get down. Referee not going to argue with Matt. Buddy Love doesn't make it in. It's all over, but the crying. Buddy Love could have made that save, but Matt Connard kept him out of the ring. And that's the difference between a win and a loss. So Buddy Love, out of his element a little bit. His partner gets the tag, gets the tackle and the pin. Well, I'd like to point this one out. Buddy Love's lackluster teammate this morning. He's the one that got pinned, not Buddy Love. This is a oh. fault. Now we got a statement being made here. What are you ringing the bell for? You can't stop the match. Whoa! Love hurts! You're darned right about that one. You're no Bob Brown. He's telling him you're no Bob Brown. Can't argue with that. Mobile disc jockeys are an important part of your party. Get a good one, you have a great party. Get a bad one, suffer the consequences. Dwayne Muncy, the owner, has been doing this since 1992 and is well qualified to help you through the entire process of making your event a huge hit. Here's just a few reasons you should book us. Dependability, knowledgeable, friendly staff, user-friendly website, over 110,000 songs, will play as long as you want, and customer service is most important to us. We have all the equipment to handle any job, any size. We can even set up multiple systems at the same event. Our gear is well maintained and we always bring backups. We set up early and we love to travel. Please see our website for details. No hidden charges, no setup fees, no subcontracting. Give us a call today at 304-250-0123 or go to DwayneMuncie.com to schedule a free consultation. Don't suffer with a lousy DJ. Let Cucumber and Company help make your night downright historic. Billy Lit and Ricky Shane. Cult of personality? Isn't no, that what they no, are? No, no, no. Cult of charisma. Charisma? Yes. Yeah. We're charisma. Okay, but on the real, April 6th, we're coming in for Unleashed, and we're going to show you why we are the NWA. We are what the NWA is. We're coming to West Virginia to save pro wrestling. Shine those belts up, boys.
Corey Hollis is a wrestling machine, and I'm undefeated in the state of West Virginia. We're bringing those titles back home where they belong. Let's attitude to try to take the high road. And it's causing a lot of... Whoa! The Zugs have jumped him! Well, that's a way to make your name, make a name for yourself, Jester and Hatchet jumping the tag team champions. Well, that was the first intelligent thing I've ever seen them do, followed by the, well, I hate to say, the predictable thing that I expected to happen. This is what happens when you have rookies, 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 overzealous rookies going up against veterans. These guys don't even get along right now, and Zug Island can't even get an edge up on them right now. But the thing of it is, they couldn't capitalize. Of course they couldn't. They didn't. They didn't. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said they could have. No, they couldn't. Okay, well, we're going to start Over this action up. Sons of guns. Well, Ricky says, we're not having problems. You're having problems, Billy. Did you hear Ricky? He's got one problem. That's Lance Erickson. Whatever Lance Erickson is holding over Ricky Shane's head, it is the bane of his existence right now. Well, I'll tell you why I'm not sure how true that is. Because me, myself, and I, I have 99 problems and Lance ain't one. All right, here's your lockup. Billy Lit, the cult of charisma against Hatchet of Zug Island. Snap mare now. Wow, and he's stretching everything. He got a little bit of the bottom rope and it actually helped him out. Covered by Billy Lit. Comes up a little bit short. And in comes Ricky Shane, the man with a lot on his mind right now. Oh, big forearm, did you hear that? And Billy Lit has him over in the corner, and that looked a little bit like a chokehold. That looked a lot like a chokehold. That was a chokehold. We call a spade a spade here that Ricky Shane was choking him out. He had him by the ears just now, and it was all the Tatchet could do to get over to Jester and tag him in. Jester walked right into a hip toss, stood there and let him scoop slam him in enemy territory. Oh, Ricky Shane! Boot burn across the eyes. Did you, man, these guys are Felix and Oscar, I'm telling you. Ricky's asking him if he can do better. Billy's like, yeah, I've got this. And now, Jester now going to the mat. The road to Unleashed is absolutely off the hook. There will be an explosion in Baileysville, West Virginia, the likes of which we haven't seen here. Wow, did you see Jester with that nice reversal? Jester's working that arm over. Billy working his way out of it. Nice reversal now by Billy Lynn and a return favor. Back to the hammerlock goes the tag team champion Billy Lynn as Ricky Shane looks on. Bill, Ricky Shane's trying to get him to rake the eyes. I would call that a smart move. Jester now firing into the bread basket. Oh my gosh. Lots of excitement going on in the ring. You're right about that, Dean. I can't believe everything that's going on right now. A monkey flip out of nowhere by Billy Lid. That poor young man in a lot of trouble holding his back. Caught in a double arm butterfly suplex. Let's go and press him on over. Lateral press. Doesn't hook the legs, though. That may have been the mistake. That could have been the end of the match. If you Billy Lid would have. Ricky go ahead. Shane reaching his arm out for a tag. Billy Lynn, a little disgruntled though, took a little bit of time getting that tag to him. Oh, and a hard shot to the forehead there. You know, if Billy Lit would have carried uh, carried his weight on a cross with that uh, double underhook, keeping one arm hooked, he would have been in a lateral press. That could have made the difference. The match could have been over. Ricky Shane now. Oh! 
Hard closed fist! What would you expect? An open fist! That's what I'd expect! Scoop slam now by Ricky Shane. He's got him where he wants him. Where is he gonna put him? Running power slam by Ricky Shane. That's vicious stuff. Ricky Shane's on the rest. Come on! He's choking him out! You can't blame Ricky. He's just trying to make the most of his situation, really. He's choking him out. What's telling the ref to shut up and challenging his partner to do better. This is a classic case of the high road versus the low road right here. But normally you see it between two teams, not two members of a tag team. A nice double team there by Mr. Litt. Billy Litt brings Jester up. Irish Whip sends him across. Jester again with the reversal. Springboard, back elbow, straight to a cover. Hooks the leg. Almost had him there, Dean. Almost. Jester slow to get back up to his feet after that one. That was a nice cover by Billy Litt. And now back to the arm. I would like to point out something here real quick, Dean. We've seen Zug Island, Chug Island, Zug Island, Bug Island, Tricky Ricky. What, what, what the heck is their name? It's Zug Island. It's Jester and Hatchet. All right, cool deal then. Truck Island. Um, anyway, they've been out here how many weeks now? Four, or five, 28, 92. Uh, it's beside the point. How many matches have we seen them win? Uh, about seven by now. Seven? When? When did you see Zug Island win seven matches? Oh, did you say win? Win. Oh, no, no, no. I've seen them in seven matches. I've seen them win none. Exactly. Here's my point, though. Rare opportunity today for them. Billy Litt, Ricky Shane, not on the same page. Yeah, they might be getting waylaid right now, but all it takes... Did you... All it takes is something like that. That was a pinfall attempt. And Ricky that was Shane a pin, and Ricky Shane hot tagged himself. I know. And this is what I'm talking about. Maybe they don't have a win, but what they have today is an opportunity. Nice spine buster. Ricky Shane, Billy Lip, pure adrenaline, veterans all the way. Lots of high impact maneuvers, lots of speed. But you know. I get these it kept going on. any other way there I take care of because a team that doesn't get along, eventually someone's going to take advantage. This is a dysfunctional family. Man, this is... I'll give you this much. He's a lot more than a best friend to me. I'll leave you with that. Thought. Shut up, Blake. Don't say it. What in the world See, was? You're screwing up again. You are. He's a lot more than a best friend to me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mountain State Wrestling presents Unleashed on Friday, April the 6th, an internet pay-per-view. That evening, you will see the Army of Darkness take on War Machine and Nero. Dave Scott puts out an open contract. Zach Vincent takes on Kyle Matthews. Matt Connor gets a shot at the Southern Heavyweight Championship against Ace Rockwell. Damian Wayne puts his NWA Dog Pound Championship on the line in the cage against the Canadian Lion, Lance Erickson. And in the main event, Jason the Gift Kincaid gets a chance to win the NWA North American Heavyweight Championship from Sean Tempers. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce one half of the Army of Darkness, Buddy Love. You know, Jonathan Stiles, oh, a few months ago, Bob Brown and I, the Army of Darkness, we were on our way to the, to the NW Mountain State Tag Team Championships. Now we're all but forgotten. At 
unleashed. We will be unleashed on War Machine and Nero. And they're going to find out from the army of darkness that love hurts. Zach Vincent. Baileysville, West Virginia. You're in for a treat. Now Kyle Matthews. You're a hell of a wrestler. I've seen you go 30 minutes with Davey Richards, and it was amazing. Now, any natural person, any natural human being would have their hands full with you. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am supernatural. <laughs> Matt Connor. Screw it. Ace Rockwell. Might as well call you a ghost, shouldn't I? Considering you were nowhere to be seen in Mount Hope. Well, you know, if I was facing Lance Erickson, I'd be a little intimidated too, rightfully so. But if you were scared of a lion, you're going to be terrified of a reaper. So if you're unfortunate enough or brave enough to show up in Baileysville, you're going to wish you never did. While I'm repairing my mic, I'd like to welcome Dave Scott for his open contract that at Friday night. NWA Mountain State's got a whole bunch of characters in it, don't they? Yes, sir. People come out here yelling, screaming, hollering yes, how good they are. This right here means I'm good. I don't mean need to holler and scream and yell and fuss. This means I'm good. Open contract is very simple. You want a shot at this, you sign your name and get in the ring. You don't need me to tell you how good I am. You know how good I am. You don't need me to tell you how good I am. Yes, this tells you how good I am. Yes, sir. Boris Dragoff had an opportunity to rematch for this. Boris Dragoff got smart and decided he didn't want to. So I tell you what, Baileysville, unleashed, exactly what I'm going to be. Champ, you and Damian Wayne in the cage. This is a little personal. I don't need you here right now. Damian Wayne, get real close in on this. You almost broke two of my ribs in Hinton, West Virginia. So it gets a little personal now. So you want to get a little wrath from the line? I'm still hurting today as we cut these piss poor promos that we're doing. I'm not about anything except kicking your ass. That's what this has come to. You've run your mouth on the internet about you're this, you're that. Guess what? I'm tired of you running your mouth, and I'm going to close it at Baileysville, which is my home away from home, April 6th. And not only will I be the NWA Mountain State champ, but I'll also be the NWA dog champ. You don't need to come back in. This is over. The preliminaries are just about over, and there's the bell. Eric Darkstorm, Sugar Shane Storm on NWA Mountain State. Jason, get the gift Kincaid urging the fans on. These guys locking up mid ring from a side headlock to a hammerlock. The Wizzle, Fireman's Carry. Good basics foundation, leg scissors now. These guys are going to work it out. Move for move, counter for counter. Eric, and Eric Darkstorm now extending Shane Storm's left arm and prompting a rope break. A lot of good basic submission style maneuvers early on in this one. Very slow, very cautious. Both men playing very close. The larger Dark Storm takes Chain Storm to the mat. Front face lock applied. And look at Storm move. That's some good fundamental background wrestling action on part of both of these guys. Nice reversals. Both men fleet on their feet, pushing for advantages. And these reversals are uncommon, too. These aren't your Kmart variety reversals, guys. These are custom shop maneuvers here. Nice somersault flip through holding the arm there. That had to add a lot of extra damage to those deltoid muscles, maybe even to the triceps. Alabama roll. Storm works his way out, but Dark Storm still has a hold of the left arm. Very strong strategy, very classic strategy. We're going to see Jason. quote you earlier, very reminiscent of the Andersons and a lot of the old timers. They picked one part of the body and they focused on it. A lot of times it was the arms. So you can't do anything with your arms, that takes away a lot. Unless you're a kickboxer, it kind of screws you really in the long run. You're going to see the gift Jason Kincaid in singles competition 
I believe coming up next, actually. European uppercut sending Storm to the corner. Dark Storm's gonna shoot him across. Holding pattern, he runs in. Wow, catches the boot. That's what that holding pattern cost you. Oh, spinning heel kick sends Storm to the mat. He drags him over to the, did you see it? Drags him over to the center. Two count courtesy of Elvis. Thank you very much. Jason Kincaid offering words of encouragement to his tag team partner and Dark Gift. Wow, a Storm doing a jawbreaker, buying himself a little bit of time to get a plan together. Whoa, maybe not enough. Shane Storm with a great victory over 3BL on last week's broadcast, looking to capitalize on a win over Eric Dark Storm. Would really send him up the ladder of contention. He eats shoe leather. He eats shoe leather twice. Nice. Nicely done by Mr. Darkstorm. Very nicely done by Eric Darkstorm. Don't count Shane Storm out. We saw him absorb so much punishment and still get the win last week over Buddy Love. Against all freaking odds, that was dumb luck. Plain and simple. Cross faces no now. About it. Whoa, Darkstorm now with a Kevin Sullivan stomp. A little bit of frustration and he can't put Shane Storm away. And you see the look of frustration coming across the face of Eric Darkstorm. Darkstorm lifting Shane back up. Oh, and big chop. Big, big chop, big chop, big chop. We're going to see a couple of them, I think. There's one. One more. Three more. Tip for Tad here. Off the wrist, reversal of the Irish whip. Nice drop kick by Eric Darkstorm. Another one sends Shane Storm to the mat. Hurts him up, one more whip across the ribs, a reversal by Shane. Goes behind, full Nelson, reversal again, and he falls over top of them, arm across the throat, and just fell forward. All the momentum, and that was all she wrote. That was a beautifully executed technical maneuver as Jason Kincaid cheers him on. They're looking for some straps and they're looking for the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Tag Team straps. And then they're looking to take the game higher. Very nice match between Eric Darkstorm and Shane Storm. They're sizing him up, congratulating him maybe. Offering to buy him a congratulatory dinner? That wasn't bad. They're shaking the hand. Very good. That was very good sportsmanship on behalf of Eric Darkstorm. Really? Shane Storm put up a very valiant effort in this match. It does the heart good to see that. Dark City Fight Club. Well, you that's a matter of opinion, time. but you look at it the best in the world. Nonetheless, Shane escapes with his life intact. April sixth in Baileysville, West Virginia, NWA Mountain State. You are gonna see the temptation, Sean Tempers defend the NWA North American Heavyweight Championship for the very first time against Jason the Gifts Kincaid. Now I know this guy has been on quite a roll here recently all around the NWA, so when I found out he was my challenger, I had to go back and study the tape. You know the champ never goes into a title defense without a game plan in mind. And what I found when I reviewed the tape was, surprisingly, Despite looking like some sort of smelly, hippie Viking, Jason Kincaid is a pretty talented wrestler. He's got a wide variety of offensive maneuvers and some might even say an unorthodox style. A normal man may be concerned, maybe even a little bit nervous going into a title match like this, but you see the temptation is no mere man. I'm just a cut above all of the competition. And on April 6th, I'm going to show everybody why I am the best wrestler in North America and I'm the only man that's got what it takes to be the champ. So don't be disappointed Jason even though I'll be leaving with the gold I'm not gonna leave you empty-handed I have a gift of myself for you 
That's right. It's your very own bottle of my fragrance, Temptation for Men. And I want you to use this to cover up your normal everyday funk, but I also know you're going to need it to cover up the disappointing stench of your failure. <laughs> he'll hit you with anything he can hit you with. And he'll also mat wrestle you. He will try to outsmart you. He'll try to psych you out. Side headlock. He's rolling around to a drop toe hold. Lateral press. The Max Marauder kicks out. Both men a little light on their feet today. Very good. And Kincaid continuing to start off with the left arm. Ringing it out, snapping at it. Eric Darkstorm now getting an opportunity to encourage his partner on. And you know, that's a very good opening strategy for Jason Kincaid. A lot of times, a guy with Jason's agility, with Jason's speed, they go out there, they want to start off something high flying, a glance and blow, and then they want to bound off the ropes. Jason's a lot smarter than that, though. He's spent a lot of time around the scene. He's a veteran. So he starts off with, he wants a nice, simple, Tie him up maneuver, collar and elbow tie up, go to an arm bar, see what they have left in them. The last thing you want to do is bound off those ropes against a guy who's ready, a guy who's fresh, a guy whose arm's good, and a guy who's ready to catch you. Because as soon as you try for that opportunity, you're going to get planted. Jason, a step ahead, hasn't given him one opportunity. Absolutely. So it looks like Jason is content to keep the action on the mat. Yeah, I mean, he is a high flyer of historic you know, credentials. And to just to show off, hey, I can mat grapple, I can keep you on the mat without having to go two inches off the mat myself. You know, that's just reminding you, hey, there's a different chapter and you got to pay attention. You can't just study up Jason Kincaid as a high flyer. You have to look at him as a grappler too. He's working his way around. He's got a hold of the mask marauder. And he works his way out of the hammer lock. Nice reversal. Straight back to the to the wrist lock. Eric Darkstorm saying that he's taught that to the gift. Kincaid sends him into the corner. Snap mare, excuse me, snap mares him out. And great vining the leg. Great vining the legs around the chin area. Jason Kincaid is one of those few individuals in this business, like him or hate him. When he has a match on the card, you know it's the match you want to look forward to watching. He's just so very capable. He brings out the best in himself and the best in his opponents. If you're going to be an opponent going against Jason Kincaid, you have to bring your A game or you need to walk out of the building the second you walk in. He gives the Marauder a clean break and shoots him off. Now yeah, there's your high flying, there's your high flying spinning back elbow. Cover. Marauder wiggles out from underneath it. And almost a little bit of disdain on that cover. Did you see the forearm across the face? Yes. Doesn't really do a lot to prevent a kick out. But man, if that doesn't make you angry, if that doesn't make you feel like somebody's toying with you, I don't know what will. Jason Kincaid now opting for the high flying, fast moving approach as opposed to the ground and pound it out. Well, and he wants the fans him behind him. Right he's warning him out. This is the time and what you want to use those maneuvers. And that was that's as much a rope-a-dope as anything else. Let the guy wear himself out having to carry your body weight. And then a flying forearm like that has that much more effect. The masked marauder is probably wondering where his teeth landed. They're somewhere inside that mask, I'm sure. Kincaid springboard off! Springboard drop kick. Springboard concussion. Wow, well, that's it. Ah, uh, and freak, ah, uh, and freak inspiring. That's all I have to say. Uh, inspiring. NWA Mountain State. Ace Rockwell here. The seven figure deal. Former NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion. Matt Connor, heard a lot about you. Seen a lot from you. On April 6th 
had unleashed. This good old boy from Rocky Top, Tennessee, is coming for you. And I'm going to unleash the butt kicking of your life. Everybody saw you last week. Hit me with something. You had to knock me out to beat me. I tell you what. If you got the guts, I don't even care about that belt. If you got the guts, get in the ring with me tonight. And if I beat you in Baileysville next week at the pay-per-view, we'll put that on the line if you got the guts. I've already beat you twice. Why would I do it again? Give me, some, give me somebody new out here. I've handled this old man long enough. Hey, to me, he sounds like he's a little bit chicken, what? Chicken! Chicken! Wow. Hey, maybe you're just a punk. You ain't got what it takes no more. Ouch. Holy cow. This is personal now. Wow. Okay. And why don't you defend it again? Maybe your son wants to get in the ring with me. Since you ain't got the guts. Wow. Okay. Sounds like Dave Scott has accepted the challenge. This is not a title matchup. This is to score one at the pay-per-view. I told you this was going to be personal. Let me make sure I understand this completely, Dean. What I just heard, impromptu match. Our TV champion out here, not one freaking challenger for him. He asked for anyone. War Machine came out. He said, War Machine, maybe you should take a powder. I beat you twice already. War Machine said, give me one more shot. I beat you today. I get that title shot down the line. Oh, Cold Steel. You've, yeah, you've got it. And he, down the line for War Machine, he called out pay-per-view unleashed. He wants the world to be able to see him get a shot at Dave Scott and his television title. Well, I'll tell you what, that's smart money all the way. At least if you make it to the pay-per-view and you get a title match, that payday, and you're familiar with paydays, my friends, not like I am. I make a lot more money than you. But paydays, paydays at the pay-per-view, those go up a couple notches. Absolutely. Thank, uh, thank you for buy rate. Absolutely. Dave Scott cutting off the and literal challenger because he literally challenged him this time around the war machine. Dave Scott's got him in the corner putting clubbing blows into the back and the back of the neck. The Cucumber and Company's bringing it right into your living room right about now. Oh, big headbutt from Dave Scott, something you don't see very often. And the effects of it, I think he's taken home with him too. Yeah, by the effects I see on his face, maybe that wasn't his best move. War Machine firing back with elbows. War Machine recovered from that one a little bit quicker than he did. Dave Scott may have staggered him and said, wow, quick reflexes, a finger in the eye on the war machine. I think, I think he just slapped him across the cheek a little bit. Well, he says it's an open fist, so it was one of three things, wasn't Whatever. it? Whatever. <laughs> it was Whatever. one of three. Is it a DQ? That's the only important question. DQ? Was it a DQ? No, the match yeah, continues. It match is on. And it's personal pride because the war machine made it personal. Wait a second. Did you say pride? Personal pride. I didn't know that the war machine had any pride. He insulted Dave Scott's pride. Okay, well. That's what it took to I'll, get him his I'll, match. I'll give you that. Dave Scott has pride. Big shot from Dave Scott. Big right hand for the man who brings the pain. Oh, standing drop kick to the temple. Did you see it? Wow. War machine's down. Look at the way he's holding the back of his head. The way his head hit there. That might not be good. Yeah, his head hit the map very, very hard thanks to a standing drop kick. You know, Dean, it amazes me sometimes, as long as people have remained wrestling fans in this business, a lot of moves they take for granted. A lot of these days, people sit there, they want to see 450 splashes, they want to see corkscrew launches, they want to see all kinds of ridiculous freaking, I did a 54 backflip into a German suplex stuff. But at the end of the day, the most basic moves oftentimes are going to leave the most devastating effects. That's why they're still in play after 120 years of professional wrestling. You are absolutely right. Some of the simplest things in the world. You know, you want to take your opponent off the feet from a, from a standing position, drop, drop a knee and give a fireman's carry. Follow it up with an arm bar. It's simple science and it is so overlooked sometimes. That, that uh, rear chin lock right there. Simplicity.
the knee is used as a fulcrum to bend the spine backwards. Setting up for a how many possible submission maneuvers, Outlaw? So many, so many. We have two guys in the ring right now. We're not going to see a lot of high flying out of these guys. They're not big on high risk, and there's a reason for that. Guys with that kind of size, high risk is not their friend. Right. Once in a blue moon, once in a blue moon, when you know it pays, that's when you go for it. Up until then... Oh! There's your game changer! And that's what I'm talking about. That was high risk for a big man, but a little bit too early. You gotta remember, you're not doing a Hurricane Rana against... For, for lack of a better example, I mean no insult by this, but Nero. Nero doesn't have the strength that he can reverse that into a power bomb. But War Machine, he is a block of muscle. But did that left knee that took so much damage at the hands of Dangerous Dave Scott last week fail him just now? Not for the moment. And if it did, he is fighting through it like a champ. See, he was slow to get up. That's why I ask. War Machine firing up the television champion. He wants to beat him today so that he can face him for the title at the NWA Mountain State Unleashed in Baileysville. Oh! To the well once too often, and War Machine's got to cover. Scott kicks out, whoa, and rake of the eyes. Both men taking a second to make sure that the gears and the clockwork are still going to work. Reversal now, War Machine's got him. Here it is. That could be it. That's it. It's done, I can't believe my eyes, Dean, out of nowhere. After no there, here comes the boom. And he gets that future shot down the line. Another great wrestling action. We saw Eric Darkstorm and Jason Gift Kincaid in singles competition. Man, at the end of the night, Dave Scott said we had nobody for, uh, to face him. War Machine came out, challenged him non-title. If I win tonight, Dave Scott, I face you at Unleashed in Baileysville on the 6th. And that's what's going to happen for the title. War Machine, Dave Scott for the television title at Unleashed. You pair that together with Jason the Gift Kincaid going up against the Temptation Sean Tempers for the North American Heavyweight Championship. Chance Prophet defending the National Championship against Eric Darkstorm. Our tag team titles are on the line. If that team can stay together long enough, Outlaw. Oh, man, that is a question mark all over the place. And what, what, Dean, is the secret Lance Erickson holds? Over Ricky Shane. I don't know, but it's something personal between the two. You talk about dissension between teammates. That's not what you want when you're going into a big, high-profile tag team defense. But, man, action all around. Questions abound every six, which direction. War Machine against all odds. He's getting a rematch down the line. And you know what, Dean? What's that? As confused as I am by everything going on, so many opportunities in every direction for everyone. Everyone's scrambling for all of them, but you know what we get at the end of the day? The best freaking wrestling in the National Wrestling Alliance because we're the flagship of the National Wrestling Alliance. I know you're watching us right now, but if we're on the internet, 11 to 12, Fox 59, you can catch us. If you're on Fox 59, you can catch us at nwamountainstate.com. If you don't want to go to our website, which you should, I mm -hmm. don't know why you wouldn't. That would be stupid. But we have a YouTube channel too, NWA Mountain State Rest. We're bringing you the best action. We've always brought you the best action. Stay with us because we who we are. We're the best in the business. And the Outlaw Rock Stars out. We'll see you next time. Cameraman, get a good shot of it. Ten pounds of leather and gold synonymous with greatness. This is NWA Mountain State Wrestling on Fox 59.